Japan is scrapping a nearly half-century ban on the export of weapons and military hardware. It's intended to help Japan assume a larger role in regional security. Yeah, the move has put neighboring countries, however, like Korea and China, on edge. Our Kim Hyun-bin reports. Japan is easing self-imposed restrictions on weapons exports, known as the Three Principles, that have been in place since the late 1960s, in a bid to take a more active security role in the region. This new principle draws on what the previous three principles sought to achieve, while allowing for the movement of defensive arms overseas in accordance with the security environment at hand. The changes have China in mind. They aim to increase Japan's influence in the region by helping countries currently embroiled in territorial disputes with China. As expected, Beijing has expressed concern about the move. We request that the Japanese side learn lessons from history, earnestly respond to regional countries' strong concerns about the relevant issue, follow the trend of history, take the path of peaceful development, and do more things that are conducive to the region's peaceful and stable development. Korea's foreign ministry also had a word of caution for Tokyo. Neighboring countries may be concerned about the move, so the Japanese government should enact the changes as transparently as possible. Japan has tried to reassure its neighbors by saying the exports of weaponry will mainly focus on non-lethal defense gear, such as mine detectors and patrol ships. Analysts say the ban removal will open up new markets for Japanese defense companies and will make it easier for them to join multinational development projects for new weapons systems. While there will be changes, there will also be restrictions. The new guidelines will allow for the exports of weapons only to allies and partners that agree not to sell them to third nations without Japanese approval. The three principles were adopted back in 1967 and prohibited armed sales to communists, countries that were under UN sanctions, or in armed conflicts. It later expanded to include all weapons exports. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.